What is going on, guys? Welcome to John 1812, back with yet another food review. Happy Good Friday to everybody out there in Jesus' name. Amen, right? Happy Good Friday. And guess what, guys? Since it's Good Friday, and we found it on Chubu, it was just a coincidence, but we're going to TGIF Fridays. Thank God it's Fridays, right? Happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Okay, so they got some new stuff out. Uh, it's like some type of carnival theme and all this stuff. Camera is going to read a little bit to you. Uh, and especially the the heat item I'm going to try. I'm going to call it a heat item for right now so you know the real name. Go ahead, camera mom. So TGI Fridays is teaming up with ringmaster Alfonso Ribeiro. Y'all remember who that is, right? I hope so. To bring the circus to TGI Fridays with the launch of the new Under the Big Top menu. The new Over the Top menu features a slew of new items including the Flaming Donut Chicken Sandwich, Whiskey Glazed Donut Burger, Ooey Gooey Moth Stick Smelter, and more. So they have the Flaming Donut Chicken Sandwich, a Whiskey Glazed Donut Burger, Ooey Gooey Moth Stick Melter, Famous Whiskey Glazed Skewer, Amazing Blazing Pound of Cheese Fries, Giant Churro Twists, a Red Bull Strawberry Lemonade Lemon Slush, and then they also feature circus themed cocktails, including Cotton Candy Cosmo and Fireball Fire Eater Margaritas. Definitely not going to try any of those. However, I am going to try the, which one is it? The, um... The Flaming Donut Chicken Sandwich? Yes, the Flaming Donut Chicken Sandwich. What does that have on it? Crispy fried chicken with Nashville hot sauce, pickled jalapenos, ranch dressing, and bacon served on glazed donuts. Definitely not healthy, right? Definitely not healthy, but hey, it's worth a try. It's new. It's Good Friday. It's TGIF Fridays. It all goes together. Let, let's do this. Let's do this. So we're going to head in there to TGIF Fridays right at, right next to Eastland Mall. It's located right there. It's the only TGIF Fridays we have in town. We're going to head in there check this out see how much the price is now guys i will fair warn you that from here on out you're not going to hear my actual voice it'll be a voiceover because they have um situations where music is playing and stuff so we have to turn the more volume. people in there yeah we have, way to turn more the, people. we have to turn the volume all the way down so you'll see some facial gestures and stuff and i'll do a voiceover explaining how i really felt so uh hang in there we'll be right back with some food i was really excited about this review guys here's the front entrance to tgi fridays and the uh, art advertisement here. And I want to let you know that the staff and everyone was great there. And, and uh, under the big top, very interesting thing. Um, Alfonso, the ringmaster, also known as Carlton on Fresh Prince, has partnered with uh, TGIF Fridays and to come up with these different sandwiches and stuff. There was the entrance there and kind of a lot of nice looking decor, decor, you would say. And uh, very nice looking around the stuff. You got the Star Wars things, very, very pop culture. Uh, there's Clinton and Nixon up there. So pretty cool. So the first sandwich up. Uh, this one here, I, I really intrigued me with the heat and the donut. And uh, little John wanted to try it. And he also wanted to try the uh, shish kebab stuff, the skew. Um, so we, we tried both of them. And uh, this one here, you can see the bacon and jalapenos that glazed donut and it it was pretty you know already looking like it was going to be pretty hot um went ahead and gave him half and i'd take the other half and that way we could split up the uh, skewer too as well um coming up and so i was glad we both got to try it a lot of times the stuff is so expensive that you know to get two of those and two of the skewers we would be really crazy amount of money it was already pretty expensive. I think it was like twelve ninety five or so for that sandwich. Um, you know, it's fun to pay for this sometimes to be able to go out with your family and be able to have a meal and stuff like that. I mean, it's, you know, it's all good. I don't mind paying it every once in a while. Um, but I think our first bites there, I remember John telling me it was hot, uh, but not too hot. It had a good flavor. I enjoyed the taste immediately. Um nice crispy bacon definitely really good John uh, was talking about the same type of things crispy bacon he really said he loved the sweetness um, to the to the bun that kind of took away from the heat of the chicken and I agreed I agreed uh, 
It really did. It, but the chicken by itself, if you took a piece or so, it would be pretty hot. You know, so that luckily the glazed uh, donut bun did great. So, uh, I was looking for a napkin there. And uh, she reaches in there. I pull one out. After I pulled one out, I went to go wipe my hands. And uh, when I do, I notice I get paper towel over my hands. And we're filming here, and I didn't want to stop. Um, or napkin, not paper towel, sorry. I didn't want to stop to go clean it off. But I was trying to peel it away. And um, it was pretty messy. But I, it didn't stick on her too bad. Heck, I really couldn't tell anyways, because a lot of the <laughs> napkin looked like the glazed. But, oh well, either way, I was okay with it, because it was a pretty darn good taste. And, uh, like I said, we gave it a 10. And uh, we were really pleased with the original sandwich there. And we were ready to move on to the next item. This was the famous whiskey glaze skewer. And uh, it was like $15.95 for this thing. But it does have a lot to it. But like I was saying, we, that's why we had to share. We could not afford... Uh, to buy multiple of these <laughs> would just be way too expensive. But, I mean, overall, it was kind of pricey, but it was good to go out with the family, like I was saying. And These two items, the little slider burger and the uh, glazed uh, chicken there, it, it was the whiskey glazed chicken. You know, we tried it at first together like that, right? Which you don't have to do that. We just did that, um, kind of like mashing it up, you would say. Uh, we do try them separately. And uh, either way you go, I we felt like it was an okay taste. It wasn't all that great. It was not better than the original sandwich that we just had, the first sandwich. But, I mean, it, it still had a good, sweet, uh, glazed taste to it. You know, that I couldn't tell the whiskey taste. Uh, not familiar with that taste. But, and I know it was sweet. I didn't get a sweet sour or sweet and tangy. I just mainly got sweet off that. And after eating that, you know, chicken sandwich um, that was spicy and it still had some sweetness to it, your tongue was still a little bit on fire. So this was a good switch up. I'm glad we did switch it up. But we would say that the original flaming donut chicken sandwich was much better. Um, but hey, still had a decent taste. So, all in all, we gave this uh, a 7, and John came right behind me here and agreed. It wasn't too bad where it should be a 5, but it was a 7. Next up, you got that ooey gooey moss stick melter. And uh, Camera Mom, she ordered this particular sandwich. Uh, she let us try the bottom half. She really wasn't digging it herself. Uh, thought it was kind of too bland. Didn't really have too much of a flavoring to it overbearing on the cheese which you hardly can ever say that i love cheese but this one was mainly a lot of cheese uh which we should be i mean you know it's a ma stick uh sandwich but it didn't have any other flavors to go along with the cheese that was the problem didn't have any other really seasonings or nothing going on the marinara was bland um they do give you an extra cup of marinara so maybe to dip it that could help but all in all it was just average right it was just average, and uh, I would not order this one again. I'd order that skewer, and I would order the uh, flaming hot donut chicken sandwich. I, I would definitely get that one again, but I wouldn't get this one. I think it got like a 5 or 3 rating there. So, Well, that's all we had for tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed. It was a family review on Friday, Good Friday. So uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, guys, happy eating.